Hello everyone, you're welcome to the Lares Studios. This is another episode of Android Programming. We'll be talking about the integration of Google Play in app billing into an Android 6 application. The in app billing. Okay, we'll get to know what's that and we'll get acclimatized to uh, the Java files you know, involved in this particular integration. In the early days of mobile applications for operating systems such as Android and iOS, the most common method for any revenue was to charge an upfront fee to download and install the application. Another revenue opportunity was soon introduced in the form of embedded advertising within applications, just like Google Ads, AdWords. Perhaps the most common and lucrative option is now to charge the user for purchasing items from within the application after it has been installed. This typically takes the form of access to a high level in a game, or uh, acquiring virtual uh, goods or currency, or uh, subscribing to a digital uh, edition of a magazine or newspaper. Google provides support for the integration of an app purchasing through the Google Play in-app billing API. The purpose of this uh, tutorial is to walk through it and demonstrate the steps involved in implementing basic Google Play based in based in app billing within an Android application. So we'll be talking about in app billing. Okay. Uh, first of all, we need to check our Android SDK, which is the uh, uh, SDK manager, you can actually launch this as a standalone. I actually recommend you to launch this as a standalone. You no, know, we'll be talk we'll be using Android Studio as our development environment. Uh, so uh, if you are launching SDK, I would like you to go through the directory and launch SDK as a standalone. So if you launch SDK as a standalone, you have an interface of this nature. Okay, uh, I would point you to where you need to actually install a library okay in your extras you know extras can be found at the bottom you know the bottom most of the uh, of the SDK packages okay you can find Google Play billing library this must be installed if you haven't done that check it up and install the packages okay that's fine or uh, after you might have installed this successfully uh, you will find this uh, in the directory of your SDK, the Android SDK, the extras, Google, okay, the billing, the play billing, all right, this will be installed immediately. You extracted uh, the packages from the Android SDK manager. You will find these uh, files in the play billing folder. Okay, uh, there is one uh, particular file that is uh, uh, quite important in this uh, cause of this application. We have the IIN app billing service dot AIDL. This particular file is important. I will show you on how uh, you are going to actually incorporate it in your application. And also, uh, Google Play or let's say Google came up with a sample application for incorporating uh, play billing into your Android application, which is called the Trivial Drive. Okay, we'll be importing some classes from this Trivial Drive, which you can find it in the util uh, folder. Okay, this is the in-app billing service. You can get it in the example, Android Trivial Drive sample, the util folder, these are, uh, list of our uh, java classes will be imported into our application so if i can get you if you can get me clearly you need this uh, util folder in your application you need it imported and also you need a uh, you need the in app billing service also so let me take you straight to my android studio where we're going to be talking about the user interface for this particular tutorial and also how the uh the YouTube and the inner billing service is being uh, incorporated. Okay. Uh if you can notice, I created a directory which is a folder, you know, called AIDL. And in this folder, I create a package, you know, called com.android.vending.billing. 
so in this package you have to copy this inner balance service dot AIDL which I showed you earlier from the Android sample uh, Google Play uh, uh, billing library you no know, you need to copy this into this directory all right that's fine so in our uh, Java class 2 uh, the UTU which I showed you earlier must be copied imported into the uh, your project okay this uh, codes these Java classes are very important the lab exception the lab helper the lab result inventory purchase security and SKU details all these are default uh, classes provided from Google okay to support the Android uh, Google Play billing service all right that's fine so uh, we won't be talking about the UT folders because they are there by default okay let's look at our rest folder where we talk about the layout uh, the activity in our billing dot XML this is the UI of the application so uh, we are actually going to explain I'll be explaining in details how the UI is going to be so that we're going to incorporate the buttons and whatever else okay it's a relative layout with a padding right on top 16 dps likewise the bottom and the course on the cortex which is the in our billing activity the only java class that we'll be talking about okay we have two buttons you know uh the first one carries click me why the second one is by a click okay this is when you really want to make a purchase by a click okay now the first one which is the click me has an id of click button the align parent top true center horizontal true the magic top 130 dp you can actually modify that okay there's one aspect very important on click button clicked yeah okay you must get that because we'll be using this uh on click method in our java class okay for the second button we have an id called buy button just the name implies buying of probably a commodity or something online we have the layout center vertical true so that it's going to align with the first button and they unclick this time for this particular button is called by click okay they are all wrapped into a relative layout that's cool all right let's look at our java class the in abelian activity that was developed by myself okay now this inner building activity extends up compress activity okay we all know that now we're going to call declare a static final string called inner building and also the m helper and our item sku which is going to carry a string called android test purchased okay we have two fields here afterwards the click button and the buy button which uh we talked about in our xml how uh, firstly we are going to implement the click me button when the application is first launched the click me button will be disabled you know so when it's first launched the click me button will actually be disabled you know uh you create an uncreate method where we set our uh, super uncreate and we set this content view also to the layout activity in a billing xml okay we need to pass to passing some values to these uh uh fields we declared the buy button now we call on the id of the buy button we cast on the button to it also we do the same thing to the click button and we set enabled force to the click button you understand what i'm trying to say so at first launch the click button won't be enabled okay uh now the m helper we start with the new aib helper with the base 64 and code public key okay which is right from the utilities uh base 64 uh java class okay now we start up the results so if we if not result is success in our building set of field if the result is not successful that's what that is saying so if it's successful in our building is set up okay that's cool now on button click method so we call on the click button we set enabled force which would none okay the buy button must be set to true so we're going to disable uh a click 
on the click button initially in the first launch while the buy button will be activated now we have another method called buy click which is going to pick up the view uh, class and its object we're going to call the ml power and launch purchase flow based on the item sku you know okay we have on activity results okay where we're going to pass three parameters the request code the result code and the intent data okay if the if not ml power and do activity results you know so you're going to call on the super on activity results all right uh let's look at the iab helper which is going to call on the iab purchase finished listener okay so if the result is failure it's going to undo an error and returns it else if so it's going to get the purchase sku and consume the item while the buy button will be set enabled to force this time okay now the public void consume item method what's going to happen here we're going to call on the ml power based on the query inventory async okay passing the m received inventory listener now uh the iab helper we call on the query inventory finished listener okay and there is an if statement followed afterwards whereby it's going to check the results if it's failure else the ml power is going to consume the async and get the inventory which is going to get the purchase and the item sku inclusively with the consume finished listener so what about for unconsumed finished listener which we just mentioned which is going to come the call the m consume listener and equals it okay uh with a new keyword by instantiating it with the iab helper where we have uh a method right inside it which is on consume purchased okay passing on the purchase itself and its results so if the result is success the click button will be set to enable true okay probably after it has passed through uh it has passed the, the 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 calls you know and the results gotten back was successful the click button will be set to enabled else we can handle some error can catch up some error so we have the public void on destroy. We're going to call on super on destroy. If the ML power is not equal to null, the ML power will be disposed. So therefore, the ML power will be set to null. Okay. Uh, this uh, Java class in particular actually used some of the utilities uh, we mentioned from the default uh, classes we have from Java, uh, from, from Google okay which is the base 64 the iab exception we were talking about which extends exception okay uh and also the iab helper and its results we mentioned that we even mentioned its purchases and also this sqa details you know you can find time to read this through but google has already made this you know available for you and you can also tr get through with from the main activity in the sample uh, folder in your Google or uh, billing library in your Android SDK. Okay, that's fine. Now, there is a recommendation that once you're launching this to your emulator or to your uh, simulator, it must have a Google Play uh, incorporated in it. So it's best recommended to launch this in the real device. So I will implore my good listener to pick up the source code, test it up, run it in a real device, and let's see and get to see the demo of how to incorporate an inner billing uh, uh, library you know, into your application. All right, it is going to be the first step of, uh, of uh, this uh, uh, tutorial. The second session of this tutorial will be coming up which is going to be the second part, which is going to talk of how to implement a live inner billing, you know, which is going to be live this time, you know, there's a demo, we're going to bring a demo um, figure, you know, I won't be using my emulator because 
uh, it doesn't have a Google Play service installed in it. So I would like you to pick it up and test it on your real device. I've done that, so that, and, and it worked. So now, the second part, we'll be talking about the signing up of this particular application. We're going to register the app to the Google Play Developer Console in the course of like uploading to, to, to the Google server, that's the Google Play. You know, you have to do that process before it gets live, before the Google, you get to know that, okay, you're getting a step further to get your inner billing working. You're going to obtain a public license key. And also, you're going to create a merchant account and get a live test of the inner billing integration. No, Google actually gives the room to do a test. It can be a group test, you know, just to test out the application, test the real uh, uh, payment uh, integration into your application before you finally upload you know, to, to the cloud, which will pass through different testing modes, alpha, the beta, and also the live uh, launch. Thank you very much for listening. And I would like you to still stick around with this channel for the second and the calculated part. This is the demo of an enabling service. But I'll walk you through the real uh, live testing of this application. Thank you very much once more for hanging out with me. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful time. Bye-bye.